my name is Dave and today we have Renegated. Uh, basically this film is a, uh, a bit of a monster in the US because um, when it was made um, critics and people of the US were an uproar because it's so it's bold and so strong a film. Um, they called the director a, a traitor and being called that by your own people is a strong thing to say. And it is a bold claim as well, because when you, cause this film, not only do the soldiers and the, the actors and the staff and the crew actually go along with the film, which is quite bizarre, because you would have thought they were called it as well, because it's here part of the film, not, um, they seem to be quite happy to star in it. But it also tells apparently a fictional truth, so um, basically someone said something and they've made a film out of it, and the director seems to have gone quite strong and bold in this one. Now it's a very exciting film, but it's shocking. So please bear in mind um, if you can watch it. It is a powerful film, but it's not a film where you see blood, guts, gore all over the place. It's not a film where you see lots of bad language, um, and lots of racism as such. It's a, it's a very mild film, but they give a very strong. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very it's an amazing film. Don't, it's, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing film and it put together very nicely. I keep looking at myself on the camera here, but I'm actually over here, look at the lens over here, so if I keep looking back and forwards, I do apologize. Um, but now it's a, the ending as well is a very extraordinarily, extraordinarily, extraordinary, 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 it's a word that I cannot quite say, extraordinary, that's the one. Um, ending is very powerful, it's very exciting, and it's very controversial as well. I don't want to spoil it because I want you lot to go see it. Um, but Reddicky is a. They're in Iraq and Samara. Samara um, checkpoint. And, and they uh, basically you got some. There's basically a film of. Uh, basically, basically, basically. Basically, um, basically a film leading up to the events of um, what happens really. And the soldiers really are. Well, people in this act and as the soldiers, whoever, really do. do put in a very extraordinary shift. Um, on this film, it's very powerful, very um, well done actually. The way they move the uh, the armor, the equipment, the vehicles, and they all seem to focus quite nicely on it, and they seem to work rather well. And it's a very clean film. The, the, the background, the locations look very nice. The sound effects are really good, and uh, yeah, the apparent truth is the first casualty of war, which always seems to be something um, if, well, I don't know, in war through sort of, sort of bent in ways that um, apparently it happens this way but happens that way and I don't know if it actually goes the way it says sometimes but uh, the only people who know the truth are the ones that are actually there and the film I can't, it's, it always says fictional, it's very tricky to say if it's real or not. Um, it may be some events that were happening uh, were real, but um, I mean, time was hell, and uh, yeah, and people also claim this to be a, uh, what happened, the incidents, um, are claimed to be a war crime, and also people, I think, I mean, wanted to be sort of court martialed, uh, put in the courts, and maybe done people got treason or try and get some kind of approach out of it. That I can only watch the film as a individual and basically see what happens in the film and make up my own mind over it. I can't I don't know nothing of the war, I don't know nothing of what happens. I don't even know what I read or what I hear or what I see. And uh, I can't make any calls on it so yeah. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the old case which looks very nice, I do say. Shocking, harrowing, chilly instant Chilly incendiary, incendiary, incendiary. Yeah, from the acclaimed director Carlito's Way. I've not watched that film yet, so I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Redicated, a, a Brian De Palma film. Truth of the First Tragedy of War. I like how this is laid out. It's very nicely done. Got these sort of sandbags here. The soldier sort of takes center, front and center. Got the planes. Got the chopper in the background. A nice big tank sort of showing what's power off. Bit of the old barbed wire, sort of defences. You also get these sort of explosion in the background, the smoke and sort of dust, sort of of what Iraq sort of portrays the bay. Apparently, that sort of dusty sort of 
bland sort of environment, but I, I don't think it's ever like that. I think it's probably a bit more nice than it actually is. Um, yeah, very nice laid out. I do like that very much. It's very pretty. Very nicely done. Got the reticated on the side. Got the gentleman on the bottom again, like it says on the front. It's actually in the front, so it's the same cover on there. You got Brian De Palma film on the side there, because he really wants people to know that it's him. Um, yeah, that's pretty simply done. On the background, back it looks very nice as well, very nicely laid out. I like the colour of the chosen. I like the big pictures here. You got a three, two more pictures on the side here. You've got some extras I'll read in a second, and you've got a nice bit of text on the top. Nice top. It. It's like they try to on this bit here. It must be one. Yeah, it's one image. Yeah, and the background is add a couple of top and the text. So, um, and so it sort of almost see through as it works. You see the smoke. Very nice done. I quite like that. So we're about to make a. Uh, uh, fourth entry into somewhere into one of the places takes the captives and uh, later interrogate him. So uh, brilliant, D. Palmer uh, reinvents both uh, both himself and U.S. cinema. Brilliant, D. Palmer reinvents both himself and U.S. cinema. Don't know how he does that. Cause I've not really watched any of his films before, so I cannot say. But I'm sure U.S. cinema would have been fine anyway. Uh, directed uh, by the award winning Brian De Palma. You keep having his name everywhere, don't you? Uh, Sac Scarface. I've heard of but not actually seen. In Touch of Balls, not watched that one yet. And Carito's Way, which is a, a Latin sort of film. Um, Redicated focus on the daily lives of squadron of bitter, reckless American soldiers stationed at Sa Samara Checkpoint, Iraq. And the incidents leading to one of the most brutal war crimes of the 2003 invasion. So this is sort of beginning of the, the Iraq war where the soldiers sort of take up and uh, get in. Uh, taking the hostage and setting up checkpoints and making up a base there, uh, sort of thing. Uh, fictionalized account of true events. Fictionalized and true events and saying sentence kind of makes you think, is it real or true? Is it not true? What parts are true? And it's very tricky in a film. Redicate has become one of the most notorious and controversial war films ever made. I don't know, I'm sure there's a few more films out there, probably got the same on the back, so a few more controversial films somewhere else. Have enough American audiences stunned and critics in the uproar. Some even accuse the director of treason. The film is a must watch for its graphic. There's not much graphic, honestly, it's pretty tame, I've seen worse. A uh, violent and unflinching portrayal of the modern battlefield with one of the most shocking endings ever in cinema his, seen in cinemas. I can say that is not the, in cinema. Yes, it may be true on that. But as in the film generalised, I I don't think it is. I think there's been other films that out there uh, been on par of it or worse. It depends what your definition is of shocking, and it's. It varies from person to person and film by film, so you can't really expect much. And I don't think it's the most shocking one ever, but there we go. So, extras. Uh, high definition. An interview with Brian De Palma. Refuge interview. And photo gallery. Photo gallery is alright. You get a few pictures to see the uh, cast and crew, but nothing too exciting. The interview is alright. You know, get to see Brian talk about his film and about what happens and all that. Um, it's even got a Venice, yeah. 64 Silver Lion. Uh, it must be an award if I put it on the screen. It must be an award at some point. And he seems to have got it, but not one I'm familiar with, so. And inside is pretty blandly boring. Just a nice strong bit of plastic with a casing and the reticated. That's the way to do it. Um, it looks. Well, when I first had it, I was like, ah, oh, it looks right, doesn't it? No, it's like it's basically a gentleman from the front cover again. And reticated on the side. Nicely laid out, nice and simple, half and half. Not quite in its case, but yeah, it's pretty simple, not bad, very nice. Yeah, I do, I suppose, you're only watching the film, but I say it's quite a nice, pretty picture on the front. I do say it's one of the best ones maybe I've got. So, Ranikita, in a way, is an extraordinary film. It's not always as uh, shocking as people think it is, but it's a very exciting film, very bold, very dramatic, and the scenes have worked rather well, and I'm quite happy watching this over and over again, and I'm quite happy to review it and give it to you lots of people, and maybe you watch yourselves, and uh, Go for it, why not? It's, you're going to watch it once and you probably put it aside and if, or you can watch it online, maybe you can find it somewhere, but it, I'm quite happy. It's a good film and uh, yeah, give it a go, why not? Thanks for watching people and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.